Hello my brothers and sisters in nerdiness, welcome back to the Spines Web. In this video, as you can see, we're painting the Lion, one of the minis from Arena Rex. I'm not sure whether this character has a name or not, so if it does, it's in the title. So we're starting off with Modeler Mahogany from Vallejo. We're using lots of the Vallejo Modeler colours in this one, because we're pa painting the majority of the Lion with the airbrush. First time I've used an airbrush for a mini this small, um, but you yeah, live and learn. <laughs> so we're doing the base colour all over for this lion in the mahogany, and we're also going to be using this for the um, rim of the base because it reminds me of a plinth and a nice wooden plinth under these. Look really, I think looks nice. <laughs> So we're just doing a, a base coat of this. It doesn't have to be perfect coverage. Um, dark Earth is going to go over the top of it. As you can see there, again, model there. And uh, we're doing around the t on the top and the sides of the mini. We are avoiding, as you can see, the mane. The mane is going to be a different colour altogether, but you'll see what happens there later on. But the mahogany colour we're going to be using as like a, a shadow colour. Um, so if there's any recesses, any dips, it'll go in there. Light brown will go over the top of the dark earth because I didn't really like the way the dark earth was looking. It looked too similar to the um, mahogany. It wasn't showing up terribly well. So we're doing light brown all over the top of this. And again, as I said, we're avoiding the main we're painting all the areas that uh, on the main body um, and we're covering this around the sides and on the top as the light is cur curling around the character making it look more 3D as it should be really because it is a 3D mini it's not a picture but uh, yeah, add a little bit more of the light brown because I didn't have enough beforehand and we'll just as I say, every word that is either on the side or the top uh, will get this. Try to avoid getting into recesses too much. Into that light brown, we're going to add a little bit of white just to brighten it up so we can go along the top and any raised areas spurringly with this. It doesn't need to be really strong. We do not want this white. We're not painting Aslan. Uh, <laughs> we're just adding highlights to the mini so it shows where light is hitting predominant where, where the predominant parts of the light is hitting um, we are going to be going in with this with a wash later on so don't worry about it now we're going into black and I don't usually paint black on minis um, unless I want to be changing the colour slightly but with this one, I'm going to be painting the mane and the tip of the tail. But you will notice that I'm not giving full coverage to painting this black. I'm just sporadically painting it. It's just little patches here and there. Because what I want is the, the mahogany colour to come through as well. Because I think it gives it a nice effect. And I don't like really painting with black because it's, it, can, it can kill... Paint, uh, painting. So let's open the wet palette and not, don't like it now so let's just use disc palette, CD palette rather and put some black on here just so we can get the brush in there and <coughs> give the uh, nose a bit of a paint and while we're at it let's just pick out those eyes as well. You know I don't do eyes but I just want to make sure that it's got a little bit of the shadow detail in. Now we're changing over to Army Painter and this is the D&D &D Dragonfire Red. And into that we're going to be putting a little bit of Alien Purple. And this is basically to do the inside of the mouth. We're mixing both colours together so it's a nice purpley red. And we zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. However, yes, I do forget to zoom out afterwards. So there are chances of um, yeah missing things. But... What you miss isn't really vital. So Desert Yellow is going to be coming on next. 
And with this one, we're going to paint in the areas beneath the chain that's on the base. If you see that, it makes it look, it's like a textured part to make it look like sand. Well, we're painting it the same colour as we would paint the sand, because it's going to tie in with the sand. We're also going to mix in a little bit of war paints mixing medium, and that is going to dilute the paint slightly to make it more of a, uh, not necessarily a wash, but um, it's going to make it a bit more fluid. And with that, we're going to add it to parts of the lion itself. Uh, we're going to paint the claws, the teeth, and then part of, and part of its body as well, just to give it more of a, a golden brown colour rather than the pale creamy colour that we have it now. Um, so as I say, we pick out all the teeth, we pick out all the claws, and then with it being a little bit more diluted, and watered down we can then come along and just run it over very patchily over the um, raised areas of the mini just to as I say give it that golden brown color golden brown hue shall we say as you can see I'm just stippling spotting and just really dabbing it on rather than actually painting it using strokes um, I'm do and it is going to be covered up anyway with the wash that I'm going to be putting over um, in a moment. But you can see that there's um, a few little raised areas. They are uh, the joints from where I've had to glue bits together because this lion came up four or five, not counting the chain, it came in I think four or five separate pieces, uh, which is I mean, ridiculous for a mini this size. There's no need for it to be that. Um, but the head came in two pieces. One of the back legs was a different piece. The front, one of the front legs, I think, was a different piece. And then the head attached to the body. So it's and then the tail. Not forgetting the tail. The pain in the neck to put together because the pieces didn't fit properly. No matter how much you dumped it in hot water, so you had to use a lot of filler. But wash time, soft skin wash. You only paint a quick shade range, as you just saw. And that's going to go all over the skin, not the skin, the main body of the lion, as well as the uh, mane as well, just to bring out that brown a little more in the mane. Now, as you can see, we're not really very good with the um, motion here. I tried to speed it up a little bit. What I really should have done, I think, is just cut it. Um, but... I didn't think you'd want to see me do the whole lion. So now that it's dried, um, we're going to go over with a wash, sorry, a dry brush of skeleton bone. You just briefly saw the bottle there. That was skeleton bone, again from Army Painter. And it's going to go all over the mini, uh, including the chain. And now we're going to go into the Army Painter Night Scales Metallics colour. This is from the Metallics colour set that the Army Painter kindly sent me free of charge to review and to feature in the uh, vid in videos. So any video that I feature these paints in will be uh, notified at the beginning as being sponsored by the Army Painter. And if they give send me any more paints in the future, then any time I use those items, then I'll be doing the same thing. Um, as I said, they were free of charge, but there's no obligation to actually be nice about them. Um, but I can't be any other way. They are really good colours. Um, and I would highly recommend them if anybody wants to add a little more metallic, uh, any, a bit, any more colour into their metallics for doing armour and whatnot, because they cover really, really well, as you can see here. Um, it doesn't look patchy, it's covering well, it's thick enough, there's no need for a, any form of base coat for them, although it goes really well just over your primer. Uh, and I'm really happy with this set. So uh, once again, thank you to Army Painter, the sponsor of our videos, for sending me these uh, metallic colour paint sets. And while on the subjects of sponsored by and whatnot, this video is also in association with Wigan War Games and RPG Group. Uh, Andy from the has uh, kindly gave me these minis 
to put together and paint so I have a bit more um, what you call it a bit more content for the channel uh, this is back into the um, skeleton bone again just to brighten up the um, the look of the claws although we'll also go into the teeth as well um, I mean, let's face it, if you're getting chased by, or if you see a lion coming at you like this, the only thing you're going to see is the teeth, you're not going to see anything else. Mm -hmm. Dragonfire Red, once again, and this is where we go into the back into the mouth, and we are going to just be highlighting the tongue, because it's the only really thing you can see. And it's just a line or two down the sides of each, or of each side of the tongue, and that will do nicely. There's no need to go mad with that one. Now let me paint as matte white. Um, we're going to pop a little bit of this on the palette. We're not going mad with it because we don't need to. Um, for this, we're just going to use as an indication for light, where light is hitting certain parts, which means basically the claws and the teeth. So a little spot on the bottom of the teeth, um, or the top of the teeth at the bottom. I don't know. The, third, the bit of the tooth is uh, furthest away from the gum. And on the very tips of the claws as well, we'll add a little bit of this white. And making sure you don't go on the uh, rest of the paw or any other area, like I've just done. If you do, get your brush in water, rinse it down, get a paper towel, and dry it off, and Bob's your Auntie Margaret. So... Evil Chrome next. This is going on, surprisingly enough, all of the minutes. This is another one of the metallic colours paint set. And it's just basically a very heavy dry brush over the top to bring out the detail. Um, it's acting as not just a highlight, but it's also making it the actual colour of the chain rather than it being a dark bluey grey colour. So we'll do this on the top and part of the sides where we, can, where we think the light is going to hit. That's all we need to do for that. The chain is now finished. And uh, Andy broke that chain about five seconds after I gave the mini to him. So now we're doing the base and we will uh, put on some matte Mod Podge, slather that all over the base, making sure that you go around the um, chain part that is affixed to the base. Um, because you want that to blend in with the sand. Um, so try not to get it over the edge of the um, base like I just did. It's a case of do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> no, you don't. definitely don't want the glue around the edge of the base. So if you like what you see, then give us a like. Well, hit the like button. Um, also hit the notification bell to get any uh, notifications of when I release new videos and if you found this video useful you can always subscribe and if you want to help financially then you can always buy me a coffee or go over to Patreon you get the same kind of thing with both but um, it's just different ways of doing the same thing um, any little help so you don't have to spend a fortune and in these times you know it's an old time day times are rough financially so don't worry if you can if you can't really spend much every little help you can say now we dump this in the sand and it's just time for me to say i hope you've enjoyed this video until next time stay safe and take care god bless and bye for now